Christianity, social tolerance, and homosexuality, gay people in Western Europe from the beginning of the Christian era to the 14th century, by John Boswell is a groundbreaking historical examination that challenges conventional notions about the relationship between Christianity, social tolerance, and homosexuality in Western Europe. Boswell's work traverses centuries, examining primary sources, religious texts, and legal documents to shed light on the complex interplay of these factors. By meticulously analyzing historical records, Boswell uncovers a more nuanced perspective on the history of gay people in the context of Christian society. Boswell sets the stage by exploring the early Christian era, during which homosexuality was not universally condemned. The author underscores the differences between ancient Roman attitudes and those that emerged later in Christian doctrine. Boswell argues that early Christian leaders did not necessarily view same-sex relationships with the same aversion that would later become prevalent. He points to evidence of same-sex unions being acknowledged, even if not explicitly condoned, in certain liturgical contexts. The book delves into the dynamic shift that occurred as Christianity solidified its influence. Boswell contends that societal and religious changes converged to shape a more hostile environment for homosexuality. This transformation was not solely driven by religious dogma but was also intertwined with broader cultural shifts. The author elucidates how the Church's efforts to establish a clear doctrine led to the suppression of certain practices deemed incompatible with Christian teachings. The gradual establishment of a heterosexual model for marriage and procreation contributed to the marginalization of same-sex relationships. Furthermore, Boswell uncovers intriguing historical examples of same-sex relationships in the medieval period that defy simplistic categorizations. He presents evidence of saints and religious figures who shared deep emotional and often physical bonds with members of the same sex. Rather than dismissing these relationships as merely platonic, Boswell suggests that they can be seen as reflecting a more complex understanding of human affection and attachment. One of the most striking elements of Boswell's analysis is his exploration of same-sex unions in a religious context. He highlights instances of liturgical rites that resemble marriage ceremonies, performed for same-sex couples. By examining these ceremonies, Boswell challenges the prevalent notion that the concept of same-sex marriage is a recent invention. He contends that historical precedents existed within Christian traditions, albeit with different interpretations and social implications. Boswell's work also delves into the intricacies of medieval legal systems and their treatment of homosexuality. He reveals a range of attitudes and penalties that varied across time and place. The author cautions against painting a monolithic picture of persecution, pointing out instances where legal codes displayed surprising tolerance. This multifaceted legal landscape prompts a reconsideration of the relationship between religious doctrine, societal norms, and legal consequences. In conclusion, Christianity, Social Tolerance, and Homosexuality, by John Boswell challenges conventional narratives surrounding the history of homosexuality in Western Europe. By meticulously examining historical sources, religious texts, and legal documents, Boswell constructs a compelling argument that nuanced the interactions between Christianity, social attitudes, and same-sex relationships. The book illuminates a complex history marked by shifts, contradictions, and individual agency. Through its exploration of early Christian acceptance, religiously significant same-sex relationships, and evolving legal responses, Boswell's work invites readers to reconsider simplistic views and engage with the intricate historical realities of homosexuality in Western Europe.